on if you need to feel the presence of the Lord. Come on, just begin to say, Lord, your will. God, here am I this morning. Here am I this morning, Lord Jesus. Here am I, Lord Jesus, as I honor you and as I worship you and as I lift my voice. Come on, church, lift your voice. Begin to love him. Oh, come on, just worship him. He's holy. Come on, he's worthy. Come on, it's all about Jesus. It's all about him anyway. Come on, we are here because of him and him only. As we lift up.
did. Because the Holy Spirit, as I was walking back and forth there, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me so clearly. It says the devil's been lying to you. The devil's been playing mind games on you.
what I feel the Spirit is saying. We're going to continue worshiping in a minute, but here's what I feel. Here's what I feel. I think some of you, either in your mind or your spirit, you've been waiting on the situation to change before you do anything. And here's what I feel the Spirit say, that in the midst of the situation, the situation cannot change until you allow the Holy Spirit to change you. And the reason why the situation has lingered and has gone on as long as it has is because you're trying to wait for the situation to change and God is saying, I'm trying to change you and then I can change the situation. Come on, sometimes we want, we want our situations to change right away and, and God kind of tarries and He, and he kind of lingers and we don't always understand when we have to wait on God. But He's saying, I'm trying to change you before I can change the situation. I got to change your perspective before I can change the situation. I got to change your mindset and what your heart burns for before I can change the direction of the situation. Come on, and if that's you today, believe it's for any one single person I believe it's for the general body of Christ come on sometimes we are waiting on God to change things and God is sitting there saying I can't change things until you allow me to change you to you allow me to change your mindset to change your heart to change your thought process God change us right now begin to shift things into order right now God God, we was just singing a worship song to you. God, that we don't want any other lovers. That all my devotion belongs to you, Jesus. And we're saying here today, God, we're saying here today to make those words true in our life. Make those words true in our spirit, God. That it wouldn't just be something that we feel on Sunday mornings. That it wouldn't just be something that, that we are drawn to for two hours out of the week. But God, that every day we would have a laid down life. God, that we would have a laid down life for you. And out of our laid down life, God, the river would flow. The river would flow. And when the river starts flowing, God, it starts right here. And it begins to change the person first before it changes the surrounding area. God, we are lifting up our voices today and we're saying we allow you. God, we allow you to change my heart first. God, no longer am I just going to ask you to change the situation, but God, I'm going to ask you, change me. Change my mind. Change my heart. Father, because when my heart is changed, my actions will automatically follow the changing of my 